PixEdit makes it possible to scan booklets without manual cutting and page sorting. This is especially useful when you don't want to destroy the original. It is important to note this and other typical tasks can be executed automatically during scanning. We will show you how to do that in a later video. In this video, we will show how to manually split and sort a booklet. Here, you see a typical 16-page scan booklet. We remove the staples and fed the document into the scanner, short side in, since most document scanners cannot scan a double A-sized document sideways. If you don't specify the batch is rotated in scan bar, or you don't use automatic orientation, your booklet will look like what you see on this screen. For clarity, we added large, easy-to-read page numbers. Since this is a booklet, the first and last page are shown as page 1. The second and second to last page are page 2 and so on. Now we will show how to split and rearrange these pages into a readable page sequence. First, select all pages by pressing Ctrl A with the mouse pointer in Composition View. Then use a suitable turning tool. Notice the previously selected pages are still selected. Next, use the Split Page tool, choosing Vertical Splitting and In Half. Since we split all pages, the document now contains twice as many pages. However, the page order is still in booklet order. To correct this, use Page, Sequence, and choose Normal, Arrange Pages from Booklet to Normal Page Sequence. The page order is now correct. Did you see in the dialog box for page sequence, you can automatically arrange pages to a booklet sequence? We will show you how to do this in a later video here at Pixedit.com. In this example, we showed you how to combine several functions in Pixedit to solve a specific task. We rotated, split, and changed the page sequence. But what if you need to repeat this job on many documents? or even do this automatically during scanning. You can click the Record button in PixEdit and later replay the job on thousands or even millions of documents without manual interaction. However, before we show you how to create and use macros, we have to look at a few more page functions.